about the tanning um, it's a very fun process so can't wait to see you guys with me you know after the past several days of the weather being raining and gloomy cloudy it's nice to have the weather be sunny and warm I'm excited about this journey and can't wait I just want to share that with you guys just made it at the place um, found some awesome parking the way to go. Uh, all people probably paying like a dollar for an hour. It's good. Instead of going to the parking garage that they have there, you're probably gonna pay like seven bucks for an hour. And then you gotta come back later on tonight. So I'm happy about that. I found an off-street parking. That's that's my number one concern was when I get to the tanning spot area, where I park. And Boston is known for like horrible parking and crazy streets. Just made it to the place. I uh, just checked in for my tanning, now just waiting on the, on my knee and then we get this first coat done nice spot, nice area just finished my first coat so it's pretty good and pretty lean pretty excited about that, it's cool I like this color a lot and now I'm about to head home get some pictures in for my coach and eat and come back around 6 30 ish for the second coat so let's get it stuck in traffic Just typical 2 30 on a friday traffic is horrible man so hungry hi what's good everybody uh, on my way to boston right now it's 5 40 about to get my second coat of tanning um, yeah, so 6 p.m. is when I cut off the water. So I gotta finish my water and then I have my last meal as well. Can't see. 6 p.m. is when I have my last meal and I gotta cut off the water at 6 p.m. left on Riverside So gotta eat this on the road. Buy up. So at the same time eating, driving at the same time. Gotta do it, gotta do it. 25 minutes away from Boston right now to get my second coat. And I wanna share something with you guys. Today, I finally told my mom that I was eating tomorrow. Um, and her response is so priceless. It makes me feel, makes me feel that she's very supportive. I mean, she's, she's always been supportive, uh, but she said she's good luck and that she will always love me, no matter what. So, that really, that really touched my heart right there. Just like, got really emotional when she said that. So, Cause I never, I never really told my parents that I was competing where I do shows and stuff like that. I just always do my own thing. And so I finally told my mom that tomorrow's the day of the show. And, yeah. Felt good, felt good telling my parents that. I'm telling my mom that. My dad doesn't care. <laughs> so I just made it back to the place. 
about to get my second coat of tan. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera in. Um, but I'll let you guys know that I made it back to the island. Made it back to my car. So let's get it. Just finished my second coat. Looking pretty good. I'm all gonna go home now. Send some updated tickets to my coach. And then go from there. Just put your sex on me. journey is coming to an end. Um, thank you for everybody that has shown me support. Thank you for everybody that gave me the positive feedback. So you know what I said before, um, there will always be haters out there. They're always going to want to try to bring you down and you just got to block them off and use them as, my motiv as your motivation. And i definitely done that. i definitely use that as the fuel to light up the fire that's inside me. And Made me a better person, if that makes sense. Um, you guys are the real MVP. I love all the positive feedback that I get. And so, thank you guys. You guys are the best. Anyone can change the way they look, the way they feel, and they can do whatever they want to do. You can do whatever you want to do. If you want to do something, do it. You know. If you're still young, might as well do it. Live life with no regrets. Push yourself to the limit. This journey, this fitness stuff that I've been doing, it really pushes me mentally, emotionally, physically. You know, I sacrifice a lot of things. Like seriously, you guys don't might not know that, but I do. I sacrifice time with my family, my girlfriend, my friends. You know, food, sometimes food I can't even eat. It takes a lot just out of you. Like, it, takes, it drains you physically, mentally. But as long as you can keep on pushing yourself, then that should be a good starting step to like becoming a better person. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. Always set a goal. You know, short-term goal, long-term goal, big goal, small goal. A goal is a goal. You know, and always have that mentality saying that I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do it. If, if you give up too quickly, then I don't know. Um, I just hope you don't give up too quickly because everybody has the fire inside them to like push themselves to the limit. Yes, it's difficult, yes, it's hard, you know, but you gotta suck it up and do it. And long term wise, it's gonna be beneficial for you. You can say that you did it and don't have any regrets, you know. If you fail, that's okay, because I failed a lot of times before, and I learned just to keep better, you know. I had those moments where people were telling me, like, I'm too small, and like, they're just laughing at, why am I going to the gym twice a day, and stuff like that. They never knew, they never knew that I was ever competing. They're the type of people that judge you right off the bat. Don't judge a book by its cover. I had, I had the determination, I had the motivation to do what I wanted to do, and with the help of my coach, he got me where I wanted to be. I'm in the best shape of my life. I look good. I needed my last physique 10 times better. It's like 10 times better than my last physique. And you just gotta trust the process. Have your trust circle small because at the end of the day, they may say that they're your friends and they're willing to support you, but when the time comes, they're not really there. And the people that's gonna show up tomorrow, thank you too. It really means a lot to me that you guys came out to support. And that's why, and that's why I made these like tip, team chip shirts, you know. I wanted to give back to the people that showed support of me, always give me positive feedback. Thank you guys. Because at the end of the day, people might support you, say that they support you, but they really don't. People might say that they'll go with you to the end, work out with you and stuff, they'll quit like two weeks later. Never give up, always push yourself, don't expect results too quickly. Oh yeah, another thing too, I was, so I can relate to everybody, you know, as a guy, as a young guy, I want to see results fast, you know, but I've learned that through this process I matured and it takes a long time to get to the body that you want. If you're willing to put in the work, then it will pay off at the end. And I'm willing to put in the work. This is tomorrow, it's just Project Gym version two. Next time, probably 2019, will be Project Gym. 
V3, version 3. I want to make sure I do great. So, shout out to my coach, Andrew Vu. He knows what... He, he is the guy. He is the guy. If you, there's someone that I trust, I trust him. You know, trust the process. He knows what he's doing. That's why he's a national level bodybuilder. Uh, there's other people you can trust too, but I trust Andrew. I've been working with him. He's been working with me for a couple years now and created this bond together. So shout out to you, coach. Just thank you for everything. And shout out to Tom, my barber. You know, he's always keeping me fresh. Always experimenting with new haircuts. Keeping me fresh. Looking pretty good. I love this undercut cut haircut. If you guys are looking for a barber, be sure to hit up Tom, aka Stone the Barber. Um, you can slide into my DM. He knows how to cut hair, like seriously. He knows how to take the time with his clients. His studio is very private. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing, and that's what I like. You know, that private haircut session. And so, but if you're also looking for a coach, Andrew Wu is the guy too. He's the guy. As long as you're willing to put in the work, he will, he will help you. So, signing out now until I get home and send pics to my coach. Um, I checked in with my coach earlier today, didn't get that much footage, but I sent him my pics and at 9 o'clock he gave me a meal and then I sent him another pic, got a lot tighter, um, that's a good thing. So now I just texted him, just texted me back. First he was like, get steak and fries, but he's like, fuck it, get Five Guys Burgers. Now, I just placed my order at Five Guys Online. The close is at 10. Right now it's 9.46, so I'm rushing to get my burger before they close. Shout out to my brother too, um, because he took my pick uh, sent to my coach. So, thank you bro. Recorded my routine too for my coach. So yeah, thank you bro. Anybody's looking to hire a photographer, my brother Chris, hit him up. Five guys should be like probably like 10 minutes away from my house, so I should be there at 9.55 ish. So hopefully, hopefully they're not mad that I placed the order late. So they, again, sorry, excuse me. Again, they close at 10. So I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. I'm like so thirsty too, man. Uh, 6 p.m. I cut off the water. Close to 10 right now. So thirsty, but gotta go through it, gotta suffer. It's gonna all worth it, be worth it. And I can't wait to eat out later tonight, later tomorrow night. Fingers crossed. Uh, like well. So we just made it to five guys right now. Getting that burger for midnight. So I'll carve up later tonight. Ready for the show tomorrow morning. So let's get it. Alright, so just got my burger and a regular fries. Now gotta hold this on to midnight to carve up. And then when feeling pretty tight during the show. It tastes so good. It tastes so good. So probably won't support anything else after that. And then the next video will be the day of the show. Catch you guys then. Good night.